Greetings. Welcome to the Daily Beat HRV Quick Start Tutorial video. We're going to open up the app, and the first thing it's going to do is ask us to be able to access the Bluetooth on the phone, which we need in order to connect to the heart rate monitor. So we'll hit OK, and then we're just going to agree to the terms of service. Next, you have the ability to create an account, which we're going to skip at this time, but you'll want to do that so that your sessions will get saved in the server. So if you change phones or lose your phone, you can download your historical session. So we're going to hit skip. And then this is really encouraging you to read the manual, which I will highly recommend you do when you run the app yourself. I'm going to go ahead and go past that because I'm going to be explaining things to you. The first thing Daily Beat does is ask you for a baseline. And that's so that we have a uh, knowledge in the database of where you are when you're actually relaxed because different people have different HRVs when they're relaxed. So we're going to skip that for this time, but we do encourage you to do your baseline. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is hit general, heart rate monitors, Bluetooth smart, and we're going to pair a heart rate monitor. Now I've got two devices showing here. One is our Duo EK, which is the WellU handheld device and patch. And we also have the Polar H7, which I'm wearing. I'm going to select the Polar H7 so that I can use my hands to do this demo. And you can see the check mark shows that we're paired. Then we'll just hit done. And at the bottom, we're going to select monitor. Now, an important point with Daily Beat compared to Sweet Beat is that the first session in the morning, the three minute session, will be the session that goes into the willpower graph, which we'll explain once the session's done. So we're gonna go ahead and hit start. And then it's gonna ask you for your birth year and your gender. This is really important in Daily Beat because we're gonna show you uh, age and gender adjusted graphs of your HRV. What that means is you're gonna see where you stand compared to other people, your age and gender. So it's really important to put the correct information there. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead and hit start. And we're gonna set up a quick reminder in the morning to do your daily HRV check because it is a daily beat. And we'll hit done. And then we're gonna hit start again. And you'll see at the very top, it was listening for data, and now it's waiting for more data. And the reason that you're not gonna see anything for a few beats is that we use clinical grade algorithms, and we have to collect a certain number of heartbeats before we can give any reasonable information. So um, that's what it's doing now, and it's running through a statistical and a frequency domain algorithm. So that's why we need to do that. So, okay. Now I'll describe what we're looking at. At the top, we have our stress meter, where we have blue is low stress and red is high stress. And then the other colors are somewhere in between. I should be green because I'm sitting here giving a demo and I'm not fully relaxed. And then up in the right hand upper corner, we have our real time heart rate. Now in the middle, we have an EKG animation. Now, even though it is an animation, it does beat with your heartbeat. And so if you skip a beat or if you have arrhythmias, it will show up here. Then at the bottom, we have our HRV or vagal tone uh, monitor. And so we see that the red would be a low HRV. And once again, this is for your age and gender. And then all the way up to purple, which is a really, really healthy high HRV. And once again, HRV is a number that goes between zero and 100, where a higher HRV is generally good. And a really low HRV can mean disease or stress. So there's also a help menu here, which you can select things and read about the different charts that I just described to you. And uh, this will run all by itself and count down to three minutes. You can see it's counting down. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it just for expedience. So we're going to hit stop. 
And what it does is it gives you your final score and it gives you a blurb about what it found. And so those blurbs are actually very much related to what you're seeing. They're not just generic terms. The next graph, which because we're showing you a brand new app that just got opened, will be your willpower score. And this will be based on that first session you do every morning. This is your ability to move through your day, create new habits, stay balanced. So we're going to just go through. And normally you will, in another demo, we'll see more willpower information there so we can show that. But there will be some advice based on your willpower score for that day. Next is your resilience. Resilience is your ability to respond and recover from stress. A lot of people don't respond, they react. And then they hold on to it for hours or days or even weeks, whatever happens. So this is your ability to respond and recover. And once again, this is age and gender um, adjusted. And now there's a nice little blurb about how my resilience looks good. And this is a good day to do something I really love and stay in a good mood. Now, power and balance score is similar to a stereo. So a 50 watt stereo receiver will create distorted music if you turn it up too loud. Whereas a 100 watt receiver will sound a little bit better and be able to handle a little more volume. But a 250 watt receiver, you can get a lot of volume and have nice, crisp and clear sound. So that's what we're looking at here. You want a high powered nervous system so that whatever comes at you, you can handle without distortion. And then the balance part is the balance between our sympathetic and our parasympathetic nervous systems. So it's like the left and the right speaker. We don't want all the sound coming out of the left speaker because then we'll miss all the music that was in the right speaker and vice versa. So we're looking really to be somewhere in the middle, but that's not always bad. So we'll go into that more in another video. So we're going to scroll on past and this gives me another blurb of based on uh, how I'm looking today, and I'm actually quite pleased with this reading. I just had a healthy lunch and I'm feeling pretty good. So now I'm going to, oh, and here is a final session information. So now I'm going to save the session. So I'm gonna select save session and I'm gonna enter a tag or there's lots of can tags here. And any tag you enter will become a predefined tag. So I'm just gonna say tutorial so that I know that this is what I was doing when I upload it, okay? So you can see that the session was saved, but it wasn't uploaded because we didn't sign in or create an account. You can also share this session in um, Twitter or email. And what that does is allow you to share with your friends or it lets you email the important information from the session that will let your healthcare provider or your coach or even yourself loaded into a more comprehensive program like Kubios. Okay, so we're gonna go back and we're ready to start.